Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Blender. And in this video, we're gonna create a coffee mug. Now, I would say this is a video for beginners, but it's basically for anyone who wants to, uh, you know, learn something, right? So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get started by clearing the scene. So we're gonna grab the light, the camera, the cube, all of it, and we're just gonna delete that, right? Then we're gonna go to add, we're gonna go to mesh, and we're gonna go to um, cylinder, there we have it. That's gonna be the basis, and we're gonna go to the bottom menu right here, click on this, and let's see if we have anything we wanna change. Now obviously the scale is way off, it's a huge uh, thing, it's a uh, one by two meters, but that's fine, we'll just leave there. Uh, everything else, let's see, end guns on top and bottom. I don't want that. I want a triangle fan, and I'll show you what's going on if you do that. This is our top right now. If we leave it on end gun, it's one open space, and you want to try to avoid end guns if you can, right? So we're going to go to triangle fan. There you have it. Now, uh, the basic shape is fine, I would say. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click out of this. We're gonna go back to here. We're gonna go up to edit mode, click on edit. And we're gonna go to face mode. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on these faces on top here. And let's actually, uh, let's drag select them. That's what we're gonna do. And what we're gonna do is make sure that we've got nothing else selected and we don't, so that's good. We just need this one face here. Hit delete, delete faces, there you have it. So this is our basic shape. Now, we want to do a couple of things here. First, we wanna make sure that we have enough subdivision level and we're gonna need that later on when we uh, create the ear of the mug. I don't know, it's calling the ear, right? Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to loop cut. When I click here, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click and we're gonna add a few more. Let's do one here, one here, 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 and maybe one more pass. So just keep on clicking. Now, the other ways to create multiple in one go, but I wanna keep it as simple as possible because this is a beginner's video, right? And I truly believe you need to get the basics first and then, you know, do all the shortcuts and all that kind of stuff. So we have this so far, right? Now, what I wanna do next is I want to bevel the bottom edge right there, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to um, edit mode, of course, edges. I'm gonna alt click on the bottom edge, there you go. We're gonna go to bevel, and let's uh, pull on this guy like so. And because we're gonna smooth this, it will look rounded, but we're gonna go in here to segments, and we're gonna set that to, let's do four, that should be fine. So the basic shape for that is okay so far. Now, what we need to do is we need to add some thickness. And the reason why is the ear of the mug will be in the outside, of course, but it's not gonna originate from the inside. And we want the wall of the mug to have thickness, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to object mode, make sure it's selected. And then what we're gonna do is go to the wrench tool here, click on it, click on add modifier, go to generate, and we're gonna go to solidify. And as we do that, we now have the option to create thickness. So I can go in here and let's not go overboard. Based on my settings, we got something looking like this, all right? Okay, cool. So we have that, happy with that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select it, we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to Shade Smooth, click on that and you will get something looking a bit rounded, okay? Now let's see if we're happy with the bottom, it looks okay top looks okay to me as well uh, if you're not happy with the top what you can do is you can go in here and first we need to apply that uh, modifier sorry we're gonna go to the little arrow here go back to object mode I forgot to do that so right here and click on apply there you have it now we're gonna go back to edit mode and now we've got faces on top here now, if you want uh, to be a bit sharper line around the top of the mug, you can do that. What you do is go to edge mode here. We're gonna alt click to select that entire edge loop. And we're gonna shift alt click to do the one on the inside. 
So you got both of them selected. Uh, we're on the bevel tool still, right? So we can kind of go in here and pull on that just a little, not too much, something like so. So now if you go back to object mode, you should have a little bit uh, nicer top there. And what you can also do is go to shade auto smooth, right? You'll get a little bit harder lines here, but I like it like this. Okay, so now that we have that part, right? Uh, the next thing is the ear and that's kind of tricky. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna get add mode again, and you can do that by hitting the tab key if you want. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna find the position for that ear, okay? So we're gonna go to face mode and let's take one and hold down the alt key to, no, not the alt key, sorry, shift key. One, two, three, and four. Delete and delete faces. And then we'll do the same down here. We'll do one, two, three, four. And we're gonna hit delete and delete faces. All right. So now that we have that, you can see why we made thickness on this first, right? So now the ear of the mug is coming out of the outside and the inside is intact. So that's what we want, right? Now here's where it becomes tricky. We're going to go to edge mode and we're going to make sure that we uh, select that outer edge. So hold on your alt key, click once, hold on shift and alt, click once, and then we're going to extrude this, right? So extrude region. Now we're gonna pull this out a little bit. And the thing here is, if you want to make the ear bridge between these two, and I'll actually, I'll do this to show you what will happen, right? So we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to bridge edge loops. All right, so you get something like this and that's not what you want. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to take these and then we need to kind of angle them towards each other, right? So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna alt click on this guy and I'm going to click on rotate and we're gonna kind of push that towards each other, right? And I'm also going to um, hit the move tool and we're gonna kind of bring that down a little bit and maybe pull it in a little bit more like so. And then we're gonna do the same down here, okay? So we're gonna alt click on that edge. We're gonna tilt it, tilt it inwards like so. And we're gonna raise it up a little bit. Something like this. So now when I wanna connect these two by using the bridge command, you will see that it will round it out and it will look a little bit more like that, right? So I already got this one selected. I'm gonna shift alt click this one. Okay, and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to bridge edge loops. But now I can go in here and I can go in and change the number of cuts. And as I do that, you'll see that I will get this ear. Okay, so I'm setting it to seven for now, right? I'll get something looking like this. And from here, what you can do is you can modify it. So let's go to three, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna go to vertices and I'm gonna drag select these and we're gonna kind of bring that in a little bit. It looks like I forgot one. Oh, okay, we'll go to wireframe mode. The reason why that happened is if you're in wireframe mode, it will get all the vertices in the back as well. Uh, if you're not, it won't, okay? So let me just... Uh, Try to shape this a little bit better. That's not too bad. Okay. And then, yeah, it's not too bad. All right. So uh, let's see. We can go to edges. We can uh, actually, yeah, I think, I think it's good. All right. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We're gonna have a look and uh, we're gonna turn this guy on, this guy right here. And then from here, what we can do is, if we like, is uh, smooth it out again, right? What we can do is we can subdivide it, okay? So we're gonna go to the wrench tool. 
Form Object Mode, yeah. We're going to add a modifier. We're going to go to Generate. We're going to go to Subdivision Surface. There you go. That's the one I was looking for. Then you're going to go in here and you're going to apply that subdivision. And you can see now that it has been applied because it's nice and dense. And now that we have this, uh, what we can do is we can create a little scene and uh, put some material on it, add some light, and then do a quick render. Okay. Let's uh, move this up a little bit on our grid, like this right there and you can hit one three or seven to kind of flip that around on your numpad right then what we're going to do is we're going to go and grab a new cube add mesh and cube and we want that to be sitting on that line as well and we want to make that a whole lot bigger so we're going to scale it Let's go to wireframe so I can see what's going on. We're going to go to move. We're going to move that up to align that like so. Then we're going to go in here and we're going to change the width. Like that, that's fine. Then we're going to go to uh, edit mode and um, let's go in here we're gonna take that top face we're gonna delete it we're gonna take uh, this guy delete it and we'll take uh, this guy and delete it and there you go so now we got something like this what we can do in the back there is round out those hard edges so we're gonna go to edge mode click on one and then uh, shift click on the other. We're gonna go to our bevel tool and we're gonna bevel that a little bit like so. And then we're gonna add some segments like so. So we've got a nice backdrop. We can look at the position of our mug. Let's see if we're happy with that. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a rotation. Let's select it first in object mode, this guy. We're going to rotate, we're going to flip it around, oops, not that control. We're going to flip it around like this, and there you have it. And now it's time to add a camera, okay? So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to add, we're going to go to camera. And I want to look through that camera, so uh, what I need to do is I'm going to hit control alt zero and that will frame my camera on my mug. So if I were to go in here and render image, you would see that there's nothing to be seen because there's no light, right? But that's okay, we'll get that sorted. And uh, yeah, that's the next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna add some light. So we're gonna go up to uh, add, uh, let's go to light, and let's do a um, spotlight, why not, yeah? All right, so now we're at a point that we have a camera, we have a light, but we don't see that light quite yet. We are in the um, the right option here, the viewport shading. So if I were to go here, you could see where we are, were just now. So we're going to go to this one so we can see what the actual light is doing. We do have a light, the spotlight right here, and um, let's set it to 100 watts to start with. And the reason why we're not seeing it is it's below the floor and it's uh, below our mug, right? So we're gonna move it up. And as we do that, we should be able to see the light in our scene, okay? So there you go. We're starting to see our mug. It's a light from, sh from the top, right? So let's give that a little bit more, let's say 200 watts, right? That's fine. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new light. So let's go in here and we're gonna to go to light. Let's do an area light, why not? And here we're gonna have kind of the same issue. It's laying flat on the floor. So we need to angle it, all right? So we're gonna do that. And make sure we're aiming at our object here. Okay. 
let me give it some uh, power so we can see what's going on there you go all right so there you have it let's angle that up a little bit and you can see we've got some light going on on the side there all right that's good and now let's give it some material so we're going to select this guy we're going to go to our material tab down here let's see yeah down here we're going to click on new and then we're going to go into that material and we'll change the settings we're going to go in here we're going to change the well actually the color yeah we can uh, we can use the white here we can do that let's see maybe let's do a blue mug why not Okay, so we've got a blue mug and then um, the roughness I want to bring that down a little bit because I want some sheen on it and metallic I'm not quite sure whether that will help no so uh, yeah we'll set the roughness way down now let's do a quick view in our render view and see what it looks like right so we're gonna go up to render uh, actually we need to go to render settings first because I want to use cycles there you go and uh, let's see the maximum samples is nice so we're gonna go up here to render and render image to give you an idea of what it would look like right okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one light source um, just gonna zoom out a little bit and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit zero on the keyboard you can toggle like this zero on the keyboard and what we're going to do is we're going to go up to add we're going to go to a light and we'll do a point light we'll pull that up and we'll move that out a little bit and i kind of want a reflection on our mug here right let's see if we can make that happen let's go and change the properties And we're getting some reflection on the top there and i'm kind of aiming for a little bit here and a little bit on the ear of the mug okay so yeah this would pretty much be it let's go to uh, render and let's just check the settings here samples is a bit high let's go with uh, let's do 400 and then let's go and uh, click on the noise and then we're gonna go for our final render here we go alrighty well if you made it this far into the video then you probably made your very first coffee mug so good for you right well I hope you enjoyed the video a lot more to come if you don't want to miss any then you know what to do right hit that like hit that sub and I'll see you guys in the next one bye